sharing is caring. And we could not do what we do if it wasn't for community partners. We are just a group of volunteer residents who had an interest in improving the neighborhood. We want the neighborhood to be beautified. We want the residents to feel comfortable. We want them to be safe. And we want the neighborhood to be proud for people who want to stay here. The Greater Toledo Community Foundation takes pride in connecting people who are philanthropic with the needs in the community so that we can help fund and create change here in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. When the Jeep plant came down and the city brought everybody together to discuss what would be the future of that site, the communities got involved, the neighborhood leaders, and at that point we were brought in to help fund, uh, along with other partners, the work that was being done in those neighborhoods to help develop and, and bring them forward. People that lived in the neighborhood, especially the Old West End, worked at the Jeep plant. So with it coming down and being moved across 75, that had an impact on the economy in that neighborhood and also the well-being of those that lived there. So it was important that as we revitalized that site or decided what the future of that site would be, that we also considered the residents of that neighborhood in that plan. What we wanted to keep doing was positive impact and growth within those communities. And the question at hand was, how do we sustain that? So to make that work in the neighborhood sustainable, that's how we came up with the idea of the Toledo Solar. Economic development is key for communities because the role of economic development practitioners, including looking at opportunities where specifically creating jobs and creating opportunities for existing businesses as well as attracting new businesses. And the role that we take on in economic development, particularly through our various financing programs, have been very instrumental to this community. We acquired the property in 2010 and it's really your entry into Toledo from Michigan and in some parts through Canada, as well as those who are traveling northbound, it was critical for us to ensure that that site had some vibrancy and it represented the core of who we are. As such, we have over 1,200 jobs on the site, which bodes well for us. We knew that upon acquiring the site, there were floodplains in that site that were not conducive for economic activity. We were approached, particularly by the Greater Toledo Community Foundation and others, of the thought process of turning that site into a solar array. And after a couple years of collaboration and working with many partners, we're pleased that we embarked in 2020 on a 2.5 megawatt solar array site that's producing clean, renewable energy that's being purchased by Dana to help revitalize those communities. We have a long history of working with the Greater Toledo Community Foundation, so that's how we got involved in the project. It just made sense being a local solar manufacturer for our technology beyond that field when it came to fruition. So we actually donated the solar modules that are part of that array. When you think about what we're actually doing here is taking sunshine and creating revenue that can be applied to grants and put forward in the community. When people drive that loop down 75 and, and see that array, it actually speaks to Northwest Ohio and the amount of collaboration that we can all do to create good in the community. Dana is a leader in the design and manufacturing of propulsion and energy management systems. This solar array helps drive our commitment to 100% clean energy by 2040. It currently eliminates 1,400 metric tons of CO2 emissions every year, which is the equivalent of eliminating 327 cars off the road every year. Dana has a strong commitment to sustainability, but we also have a strong commitment to the local community. The Greater Toledo Community Foundation is able to reinvest the money from the solar array and reinvest it into the local community through grants. The solar site doesn't have to be unattractive. It can, it can be attractive. Sculpture doesn't have to be at the entrance of some monumental institution. It could be placed somewhere where there's just space that needs something colorful. In 2019, we were approached by Toledo Community Foundation to help uh, zhuzh up, if you might say, 
the area along the solar array at the old Jeep factory. I took a group of kids through the process of, of visiting the site. They said, well, why don't we have a drive-by sculpture garden? Because of that initiative, the Solar Array initiative, we were one of the first people to receive some of the proceeds for that. They bought 11 of our sculptures. It was amazing. When you're able to pay a student for creative work, they see a, another opportunity for a living outside of a gig that they may not like. There's nothing wrong with loving your work. And we have an agreement over the next three years with Toledo Community Foundation to change out those sculptures so people driving by see a little bit of difference every every couple of years in the, in the space. It's kind of one of our showrooms. Just keeps feeding the program and the program will become larger. I hear somebody's doing something with native plants down there, so that might be a part of the beautification also. The entire idea behind Wild Toledo is to get more native plants and more habitat out into the Toledo community. We have installed over 140 prairies throughout Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan, and we've put them in some spots where you wouldn't really think a prairie would grow. We've done industrial parks, solar arrays, dump mounds, everything and anything. We try to put a prairie there. And what's really rewarding is you start out with this site that has absolutely no use and you put wildflowers on it that are not only helping the environment, but it also helps the community because it just looks better than a, bunch, a pile of dirt and weeds. On top of the beautification that it brings into any area where you're adding the prairie, the maintenance requirements are a tenth of what even a grass lot would be. So there's really no mowing that needs to take place. It's pretty much self-defensive. You don't get invasives that come in because the prairie forms a protective mat. We were approached by the Greater Toledo Community Foundation. And since we had already done a solar array, actually here at the zoo, it seemed like a great idea to add a prairie into this site. And that would be our contribution to this project. It will be able to grow in those industrial spaces, but it will also actually treat the water in the floodplain and result in less contamination winding up in our larger bodies of water because plants are really nature's kind of natural filtration. So you have clean energy being produced and then you have the prairies taking up extra carbon and providing habitat. That's about the best possible scenario you can get for clean energy and for conserving species. Once this prairie matures, you're gonna be driving down 75 and all of a sudden you're just gonna see a slew of flowers. So it's beautifying the area and providing all these benefits on top of it. We encourage people to go out, pick the flowers, pick the seed heads, take some of those seed heads home. And we encourage school kids to go out and use these prairies as basically living labs. Having a prairie at the Overland site at a solar array, that's really setting a great example. That's the kind of stuff that we should be doing. And, and that's really making Toledo at the forefront of this renewable clean energy push. In this case, this is a historic site in Toledo right on I-75 that's setting an example for the entire country. And that's really unique to the Toledo area. I've always had this need to want to just help people. And that's what makes me thrive. As long as we continue with community engagement, resident engagement, engagement from different businesses and organizations and just keep things moving, we can get there. Let's say we gotta crawl before we walk. <laughs>